What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2 and my free to play playthrough. Uh, we are on Assault on Throne Room. Only one map left after this and that is the Harbinger. Oh yeah, getting it done here. So uh, we got a thousand DU to start this bad boy. And I think, I don't know if it's in my best interests, but I think I am going to protect the window controls on this one. Now, let's see here. Got to make sure they're close enough to give some blocking, but they're far enough out where anything won't walk around. Let's see, and then let's go... Let's go one down here. And this is the sketchy one here. I'm thinking just dead center. Or you know what? Why don't we do it even... Or no, I don't want to do it too far up. Right there will be fine. I was going to put it up by where uh, that set of armor sits. As that would give me a... You know, a, a free trap, essentially. So let's go like that. Oh, such a dark and scary map. Still five waves. And we'll go dead center right about there. Okay, so that's going to leave me 820. Let's check it out here. This may be a fine uh, boosting opportunity. Yet I don't know, depending on what my range looks like, I don't know if I want to do it. Let's see, let's just, just to start. Let's go three flame burst on each side there. Now, I'm not sure if a boost aura would even reach all that. Or, yeah, it will. So, that's kind of a no-brainer then. I think I pretty much have to do it. In fact, let's go ahead and put one more on each side. And then I could potentially raise that to five on each side if I have the DU left. I could put one more up. But I don't think I will, as I want to make sure this side squared away. Now this side I definitely want these flame bursts to be uh, taking advantage of each lane. See I got 300 left. Let's go right there and then we'll go right there. That leaves me 220 which is 5. How many do I have there? I've got 6 here. Hmm. You know what? I want to keep it... What kind of coverage do we have over here? We don't have shit for coverage on that side. I'm actually going to drop that one. And I'll keep it even on both sides here. Let's see. And then on this side... I'm going to do the same thing. Kind of spread them out. I want to get uh, dual coverage. As much coverage as possible. And then that leaves me 60 DU left. What do I want to do with the 60? I think actually I may just wait and see how uh, wave 1 goes here. And then perhaps throw a few more flame bursts around uh, to start wave 2. But let's just go ahead and make it happen. Burn down these beds as best as possible. And I am going to have to keep an eye on those window controls though as I don't want... Whoa, that side's building up quick. I don't want to have to deal with flyers. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get some upgrades in there. That's for damn sure. The sides are actually holding up pretty well. It appears, anyway. May have been uh, light on the sides at the beginning of the waves. Let's look at this side. This side appears to be holding out good, too. Very nice. Uh oh, spike blockade down. That is not good. Where is it? Oh no. This is not good at all, and still 59 bads left. Holy smokes. Could this be it? 
the first big fail of the playthrough. Oh man, come on, just survive this wave. That's what happens when you start, you go uh, assuming you're all beastly and uh, you start ignoring lanes and whatnot. Shit goes bad. Alright, so we're going to have to do some repairs here. Let's see. No, we need another block right here. And then, what did we lose here? Looks like we lost one flame burst. And see, we got everything on that side. Okay, so we got 160 DU left. I'm going to go ahead and add another flame burst on each of these sides. And that leaves me enough for two more. So I'll go with one more on each of these sides. I'll actually put that one back that I got rid of there. Something like that, maybe. I think all these blocks are going to need some love, so I'm just going to go ahead and give them the investment. I hate to spend the green mana this early on blockades, but if you got to do it, you got to do it. So let's get another there, and that leaves me 11 upgrades. Let's get three in there. I'll throw two in there. Let's see, let's get that block up. Yeah, I am a little nervous over here. Did I upgrade that side? I did not. Alright, so I got four left. That's enough for two ups on each side. Let's go just like that. And hope for the best here. A little additional firepower plus those upgrades. I'm hoping I don't have those problems. Uh, this wave, but that obviously for wave one went very, very ugly. So let's just get it done here. Wreck up some faces. They're on that blockade. Heavy. Let's see these range mobs in the very back. Uh -oh, window controls under attack. Like there's nothing actually on it. Do I have leakage here? Is that the problem? Eh, it looks like it only took one or two shots. No big deal. A few more upgrades will uh, take care of all these problems. Man, just this side right here is just taking all the pressure, it seems like. That's the first time, I think, in this playthrough where I've had to, where I really needed 100% to, uh, to do wall repairs mid uh, mid wave. Just gonna stand back here and smoke everything from a distance. That's the benefit of being the huntress, isn't it? Might as well use it. You know, I didn't mention on this um, this kitty general I got here. It's got earth damage too, which is awesome. Maybe get myself a little poisonous tips right out of the gate already. Would be just kick ass. There we go. Alright, so now I can throw the necessary upgrades in. And it should stop the bleeding here, I'm, I'm thinking. Let's see. Let's just juice all this up. Oh yeah. Very nice. Alright, and the walls this wave I'm just going to repair. I'm not going to spend any more... Uh, try not to put, you know, any more massive dumps of green mana into them here. Alright, 513 left. I actually am pretty sure I'll probably get to 600 from what's laying around. There we go. Well over. Let's throw one right there. Let's see, we're looking good here. This block didn't take any damage. But obviously the other side is definitely taking a beating. Uh, those flame burst upgrades certainly aren't going to hurt. In fact, 200 left. Let's go like that, since this side has been kind of the weak side. Let's see if that helps me out there. Wave 3 of 5 now, so definitely making some progress here.
But right now, this window control is getting pressured a little, it looks like, on the minimap anyway. You know what, I think that may just be kobolds running around the blockades. I'm not 100% positive. But I believe that's what it's going to be. Uh-oh, and here comes the rain again. Hopefully, uh... Oh yeah, here it comes. Uh, once again, same thing as, uh, what, two maps ago. If I, I recorded all of these on the same night. And uh, we're getting real bad storms coming, so if this is too loud in the background, I will mute out this section right here and just put some music there. I apologize for that, but I really didn't want to leave this playthrough hanging. I wanted to get going and get through the campaign. And right now is kind of my window of opportunity to get that done, but then Mother Nature isn't cooperating. And uh, let me tell you, when it rains up here in the Pacific Northwest, oh, it rains. It doesn't play around. See, one more leaked through. Man, that block still is just... Nothing's hitting these bads right here. There's one, one reason. They got a couple of angles on me. Right there on that blockade. Let's see, same thing. I'm going to go with upgrades again. Man, hopefully that helps that side a little. See, 400 left. I think I'll dump 200 into each side, and that will leave me enough for all the necessary wall upgrades if need be. Let's go just like that. And then just go upgrades for the rest of this. Or, uh, pardon me, some repairs, wall repairs. And we'll go like that. Doesn't look like there's going to be enough green mana laying around for another. Oh, then again, maybe there will. So I'll just go ahead and throw that right there. See how we hold up here now. Those uh, flame bursts, of course, they get a little additional range for e with each upgrade as well. And that should help out uh, my problems over here quite a bit on this side. Those, uh, some of these range mobs are just getting a little bit of an edge on me there. They're getting getting the right angle. And uh, the flame bursts aren't hitting them, yet they still have line of fire on that blockade. So that is definitely going to be a problem throughout here. Hell, I can't wait to finish this map just to see if there's a gem reward for the Harbinger. I'm sure there is, being the last map of the campaign. Just don't know how many gems it's going to be. I've got 400 right now, so I only need another 50 to get a big bag. But of course I'd love to get uh, uh, window control, which one? Man, and this side too. Dang! It's alright, a little active repairing isn't going to hurt. Ugly, ugly. Man, I'm just going to have to sit here and spray into this side. That's, that's kind of strange that that ended up being such a weak side for me. Of course, as I've focused on the other side, this block may end up just getting destroyed here. What do we got there? A pair of gloves, was it? Yeah, I'll take them. Monk gloves, but whatever. They will work. That's for damn sure. Alright, so let's repair all the blocks. Wave 5 here, so we're going to have some bossery coming. Which, uh... It looks like the badass is going to come from up here. Let's see. That should be good. Block is good. Now I don't want to end up losing something up top here because I'm not paying attention to my blockades. So I tell you what, I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade those blocks. That's going to give me what, another 20,000 health? 25,000. 
Leaves me 100 left. Right there on that boost. And I'm uh, going to call it good. And sit and pray and hope uh, I'm able to clear, clear wave 5. Man, it is just not letting up. It started and then stopped and now the rain is starting again. Ugh, so irritating. I may have to, I, well I can't just not do the Harbinger now since it's the last map. Oh yeah, there it is. We're going to music. Alright, so the rain just dropped back off again, just for a second, I'm sure, but hopefully it is long enough to complete this map. We will see. Don't want to leave it uh, muted and on music for too long. Got another baddie leak through there. A couple of them. I better get some repairs. Oh, shiz! Ah, man. Oh, they're wrecking everything in the middle. You mean, mean sons of bitches. We're good, though. Just got that last pack. 40 of them in that pack stomping down the rail there. And there's a dragon egg. That'll be my first dragon. Hopefully it's a good one. I want a green eyes. I think the green eyes is the coolest looking of the basic dragons. I hope that's what's in that uh, that egg right there. But in the meantime, what's in the chest? We're at 17 of 18 maps complete now. How awesome. All that's left is the Harbinger. And there's the Defeat the Harbinger quest just popped up. 200 more. Okay, so that's going to put me at 600 gems. I, I'll be able to get one bag and I'll have 450 left over. So, not terrible. Ugh, and still. Still no hardy. Anyway, that is going to do it for now. Thank you for watching. Click that like button. Please subscribe. We'll be back soon with some more free-to-play DD2. See ya!